The Fireblade, the SP, is a phenomenal machine and, and capable of some incredible speeds. For 2017, we have then the SP and the SP2, so sports production models. The SP engine is a little bit different to the standard, as in combustion and valve and, and cam and everything else, just for a little bit more enhanced performance along with the electronics and everything else that coincides with the SP model. The titanium exhaust, when they moved to the SP models, was about bringing the weight down of the machine. And that's the one area with the exhaust changing from a steel to a titanium. It was a massive reduction in weight. You've got the Olin suspension front and rear, and you've got the Olin's electronic system on there. And you, in that package, you, in the ECU, you have various settings that are predetermined settings for street, for comfort, for, for track use. And again, you've got your own manual settings where you can go into there and stiffen it up or soften it up on a particular area, whether it's on braking or on acceleration, for your own personal tailoring of use. And you've got the option there to try something and actually change it as well to compare the differences. The aerodynamics of the Fireblade have been very much tailored. A lot smaller screen, a lot sleeker, a lot narrower and a lot lower. The electronics are very different for this year. The new Fireblade comes with fly-by-wire and it also comes with a wide range of settings within the electronic system from power, torque, engine braking and from the active electronic suspension you've got various settings in there and there are various settings that enable you to tailor the bike from a street, from a winding touring road or to be actually out on track. When you look at the machine from the bodywork, they look identical to the RR, but you will see there is a difference in material and a difference in the thickness of the material, and that's an overall weight reduction on the SP and the SP2. I feel very proud to have been with Honda for so many years and, and seen the Fireblade come from the first generation. And it's an incredible machine, and I think it's got a lot of potential.